to show y'all um, my little spot. Now this is my, um, I guess you call my formal dining area. Okay, so what I did is uh, these plants were some plants that um, one of my good sisters gave me. One of my good witchy sisters gave me uh, when my mother passed in January. And I ha they came in this huge basket and uh, I had them in the middle of my table. And uh, yesterday, I just said, you know, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put them out here in the sun and, um, you know, and put some water and let them grow. So yesterday, these plants were almost dead. This one was, they were all wilted down. This one here, they were all, like, laying over. And I'm going to put a picture at the end of the video to show y'all. These were all laying down. They all look like soggy cereal, man. Except for this one. This one, you know, was still... This one looked really big and beautiful. Actually, this one is a lot taller today than it was yesterday. And this one was pretty wilted too. So anyway, I took them out and um, I took mostly all of the dead leaves off that would come out. And so what I just kind of like would pull on them. If they were dead, they came completely out. If they didn't, I left them there. Um, put them on their own little plates, watered them. And, you know, so what I did is I made a little fairy garden here. So I bought these, if y'all saw my Dollar Tree haul. I bought those at Dollar Tree and I had this one from, um, what's the name of that store? Um, Big Lots. I bought it last, last summer. Anyway, so I just made a little fairy garden here and these I had, the little miniature ones, miniature, I call them little hobbit houses, <laughs> little fairy houses. And then I put my big fairy here. You can see she's here. In between the plants and then I put the rest here on my windowsill I just did like a little fairy area with a unicorn all the little stuff that I bought from the dollar store so cute except for that little table I bought that one also at um, Big Lots uh, came you know I think I've got it for like four bucks and so uh, and those little chips came in another little fairy arrangement that I had um, little stepping stepping stones so anyway they are thriving being in front of this window um they are loving the light and and i also too you know i work with faye the faye is in my house and i really feel that the reason why they are thriving so much um is because of their of their spirit in here their presence um and not only that they're getting tons of sun and water and love so i really you know i'm just so happy um that they are doing so extremely well and of course i have my three witches there <laughs> um and then something else that i decided to do i i love sitting over here in this spot in the mornings this is where i this morning i sat there uh drinking my coffee and um just you know uh going through social media it's a really nice spot um spot to be the sun comes in really nice. But one thing I decided to do, and I was saying yesterday to my coven sisters, is a new tradition I want to do is for spring and summer is to always have fresh flowers on my table. Um, because that basket of flower of that whole basket of um different um plants, and there's one that's outside that's nearly I mean, it needed to be thrown away because it was so dead, but there's still some green there. So I watered it and I put it outside. So I'm going to see what it's going to do. Um, but I wanted, I had it here, my table. And so I'm like, well, I need to get something now to, you know, put here on my table. And um, then I decided I'm going to start doing fresh flowers because there's something about having fresh flowers. And these will last for maybe about a week or two. And, um, you know, this bunch cost me like $15 and it's so beautiful. And, you know, now they sell some cheaper, whether you go pick them outside or you buy them from a flower shop or I got these at my local grocery store. It's just, it just brings a lot of happiness to me just to have them there. And so that's a tradition I'm going to start doing for myself is buying fresh flowers and keeping them on my table, at least for spring and uh, summer. I'm not sure about, about fall or uh, winter, but for sure for that. Then I bought this little hair yesterday. Um, 
at our grocery store because you know the Faye have a love for hairs and I didn't get it for a star for you know Easter I got it for for my fairies and that will stay there for them and then I got that little bowl at um um what's the store I got at Burlington remember I showed y'all got that at Burlington and these flowers that are in there came from the flowers that I got from my mother's uh, service back in January. I dried them completely uh, for two months. I had them on on her altar and uh, I, took, I took it all down and I collected all those flowers. And I use flowers in a lot of different things in my practice. So having fresh flowers like this is really going to help because not only am I going to benefit from having fresh flowers, but as they dry, I can, you know, dry them and save all of the flower petals and then use those in my spells and different stuff that I do. Because uh, I do a lot of uh, craft, you know, I do a lot of work with my craft using flowers. So I just wanted to share that. And then over here in my fairy, um, my fairy village, I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I always dust it off. I put more... Um, honey and that is a little letter that my that my jade wrote to me and so I just put it there on their little on their table um their table there with their cups of honey and I added um I added that cow and that lamb and that little sign that says critter cove I let, I put those yesterday because I bought those two at the dollar store and I bought this little pig at the dollar store they were each a dollar so I put them there and then I added that little, um, that bridge and that gnome bridge came in another set that I had. So I put that there. That's the only thing new that I added to my fairy village. Other than that, the fairy village has been kind of the same. Now over here, I'm going to work on this, um, this spring. I'm going to put some fake water in there. You know, there's, I think, I forgot what they call it, but it makes fake water. And I want to buy the little koi fish. And the little turtles and stuff and i'm going to put that there for the fae um and then of course i put my my big beautiful fairy back um where she goes because i had her on um my altar so i put her back there and you guys um if y'all haven't seen you know this is still those little trees back there they light up you want to see what they look like I mean, not this one the one on the other side lights up I'll have to go around and show y'all so I have that little tree the little table and chairs then over here is another table and chairs another tree down here is a bathroom a little claw tub and a little leaf for their bath mat this cute tree here um, now these birds I got at the dollar store I turned them off because whenever you pass by they they tweet and so um, I'll turn them on. Um, I turn them on when I'm down here, but sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. At things it's like tweet 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 tweet. And I go, oh lord. So on this side, I have their bed, little fairy bed. Now I have their fairy bed, and back there I have a beautiful little fairy um, that my um, good friend Tracy gave me. And so this tree lights up that tree so pretty okay and then I have uh, lights that go around the house I'll show you all that in just a second up here I have my altar I changed my altar this is my home altar it's my home altar there um, and uh, in here I just have things um, that I use when I change my altar different things that I use for different things um, like for different parts of stuff up here I have down here more supplies candles and things um, this pulls out and it's like a separate leaf and it comes out I can't pull it out with my nails um, and then in here I just have incense candles my lighter and in here more incense yeah, love me some incense so I decided on this altar, instead of to keep changing my altar for every Sabbath like I was doing, I'm going to keep this altar to be the things that bring me so much joy and happiness. And those things are these particular things. 
I love my fairies. I love having everything around the house for my fairies. And so I just kept this gazebo up here that I that I bought this at the antique store. And then I just added some fairy grass, some furniture in there. Um, this little fairy goddess, I got a Goodwill gnomes. This beautiful fairy that Christine gave me. Another table and chairs. I'm going to leave them a little bowl of something. These I got a Dollar General, remember? And then, of course, my beautiful Lama Dama doll that I have here. She was upstairs in my witchy room. And those of you who work with Lama Dama, you guys know that she will tell you in some form or way where she wants to be in your house. And she showed me that she wanted to be down here. Which makes perfect sense because she can see, you know, the house, you know, down here. She can see, you know, everything. So I guess she... Because upstairs, she was in my witchy room. My daughter always closes my door. She closes all the doors upstairs. Like, she doesn't like them open. And so she was just always in that room with the door closed. So now she's down here. I feel that she's a lot happier. So I put her little tiered altar. She's up high. And she's sitting on a little purple chair. You can't see it, but... She's sitting on a purple chair. And then I just, I had that. I bought that like last Halloween, so I just put it there. And her coffee that I give her every morning, she has a chocolate coffee. And then her cup that I put uh, cold water in every day. And I bought this incense holder for her. And I burn incense here for her every morning. Her cigar and her um, alcohol. And then another, that other um, little plant that I bought at the dollar store. Back here, I have my beautiful witch. I bought her last year at Michael's. I just love her. I showed you, showed y'all this before. She's just so pretty. I don't know what it is about her, but I saw her and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have you. She's just so cute. And so I like to have her up all year round. This um, haunted house, I bought this at Bath and Body last year. Oh, uh, it's so beautiful. I love it. The spider's just a magnet that I got there, Bath and Body, and it just, it's magnetized, so it sticks there. And so it holds those big Bath and Body candles. Um, so I burn, I burn candles in there, and at night, it looks so pretty because it lights up the whole house. And so I wanted to keep that out. I have another one that I bought, bought at Bath and Body, and it has like the fake candles in there. It runs by batteries. And has a silhouette of a witch and a and a cat and a and a little scary tree that stays out all year round too. That one is over over there, that round black one. And then here is my crystals. Now remember, I got this. This is a cutting board I got at a, a Burlington. I bought for ten bucks. It looks like a slice of wood. And um, I just put a bunch of my favorite crystals on this. So you know, I bought this big piece of quartz um this past weekend oh my gosh i love that and then i got this big beautiful piece of green opal five dollars and forty cents man that was a great sell anyway and i bought i have a bunch of my other stones that i just absolutely love here's that smoky quartz that i got and the other quartz my lapis lazuli that was gifted to me from my coven sister uh, and then my arrowhead that my sister gave me from uh, the reservations in New Mexico. My turquoise. There's just a lot of ones that I have on here that I, I just really love. And so, and then my crystal. This is what I'm using right now. My crystal deck. I pull one card out every morning to see how my day is going to go. So I just keep it down here. But yeah, that's, I did this yesterday. I rearranged it. I feel everybody's nice and happy. Everything is good, <laughs> and my whole fairy area, all that is looking quite good. Um, and then I really love my space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm upstairs rearranging my 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 witch room, but I'm going to hang this up. Remember I showed y'all this. I bought this um, at um, Nature's Treasures. I'm going to hang this up above one of my windows there with the evil eye. I'm going to hang that up for protection. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share share that with y'all. Um, that's my where I have my salt and pepper shakers. Those are two gifts that I have to give to one of my coven sisters and one to my daughter. But I have my collection of 
salt and pepper shakers that I collect. I just started collecting them, so I have a ways to go. And then I have like teacups, and I love teacups and um, you know tea sets. And so I have lots of different ones. That one's one of my favorite. That's from my mother-in-law gave me that. She said that used to belong to her mom. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all guys. All right, I'm gonna go back upstairs and finish cleaning my witchy room, but I just love the way it looks now. All of my favorite things, my home altar, my fairies, the beautiful flowers that I can see every day, my comfy space that I like to lay in, and my flowers, my plants. All right, guys. Um, oh, and look, this is this my my um, my good sister, Christine, gifted that to me. Isn't that beautiful? Just wanted to show y'all that. All right, guys. Talk to y'all later. As always, love y'all, and blessed be. Bye. These were my plants the day before. And once I put them out and gave them some water and some love and some sun, they stood right up. Yay. I love it.